Hello students, welcome to Charu's classes. Today we are going to do exercise 1.1, question number 2. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. According to Euclid's division lemma, if a and b are two positive numbers, then a can be written as bq plus r where this r is always greater than or equal to 0 but less than b. So we are going to use this to prove this. So we have b kya lenge? In the question they have asked us to prove in the form of 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5. So here q ke saath b jo hai, we can see that it is 6. So here b is equal to 6. b ko hum 6 lete hai. So, R ki jo value hai, wo kya ho sakti hai? R can be 0 or greater than 0, but it has to be less than B. Jo remainder hota hai, wo divisor se chota hota hai. So, in this case, R ki jo value hai, that can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Ye sari values possible hai for R. Now, let's consider the cases. Let's say when R is equal to 0. So, A ko kya likh sakte hai? A can be written as BQ plus R, which is 6Q plus 0, yani 6Q. This is case 1 when R is equal to 0. If R is equal to 1, to hum kya likh sakte hai? A is equal to 6Q plus 1. If R is equal to 2, then A can be written as 6Q plus 2. If R is equal to 3, then A can be written as 6q plus 3. If r is equal to 4, a is equal to 6q plus 4. And if r is equal to 5, to a ko lik sakte hai, 6q plus 5. Ab question mein hume ye proof karna hai, that any positive odd integer is of this form. To agar hum check kare, suppose let's just talk about 6q. 6q matlab 6 ko hum multiply kar rahe hai, kisi bhi number se. So definitely 6 ke jitte bhi multiples hain, wo sab even numbers hain. So 6q number jo hoga, that is going to be even. And 6q plus 1 jo number hoga, kisi bhi even number mein agar aap 1 add kar do, to this is going to be odd number. Again 6q plus 2, ye even number hoga. 6q plus 4, even number hoga. But 6q plus 3, and 6q plus 5, they will be odd numbers. So you can see, jitne bhi 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5 numbers hain, ye sab odd numbers hain. So we can say, hence proved. Question number 3. An army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? So, here they are talking about an army band, 32 members ka ek band hai. And uske peechhe army contingent ke 616 members ko walk karna hai, march karna hai. Now, the thing says that in dono groups ko, they should be made into same number of columns. And what is the maximum number of columns? So maximum, that means you can say, tarike se highest. So in sub question, mein, jahan pe same number of columns or maximum number is type ke words use. Hote hai, those questions are basically the HCF type of questions. Yahan pe aapko answer nikalne ke liye, in do numbers ka HCF find out karna hai. So we have to find HCF of 616 and 32. So we are going to use the Euclid's division log logarithm. So is we 616 ko lik sakte hai. 32 multiplied by what? So let's check after dividing. 32 twos are to 61 se zada ho jayega. So we'll write 31 ones are 32 ones are 32. So this is coming as 296. Let's check 
थर्टी टू नाइन ज़ार क्योंकि थर्टी टू टेन ज़ार थ्री ट्वेंटी है हमें टू नाइन्टी सिक्स ही चाहिए इसलिए मैंने नाइन ज़ार चेक किया सो थर्टी टू नाइन ज़ार टू हंड्रेड एटी एट द रिमाइंडर इज एट है अब जो थर्टी टू है वो अगला डिविडेंड बन जाएगा सो एट फोर ज़ार थर्टी टू और हमारा रिमाइंडर ज़ीरो आ गया है सो सिक्स हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एस थर्टी टू इंटू नाइनटीन प्लस एट सो थर्टी टू कैन बी रिटर्न एस एट इंटू फोर प्लस ज़ीरो यहाँ पे जो लास्ट डिवाइज़र होता है एट दैट इज़ द एच सी एफ तो यहाँ एच सी एफ इज़ इक्वल टू एट दैट मीन्स मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इन विच दे कैन मार्च इज एट If you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you